Hey, welcome back to the Cold Everything YouTube channel. I'm Tom. Today we're looking at the Hanway Antiqued Scottish Basket Hilt Back Sword. This is a single edge blade. I did a review like this like six or seven years ago. I might even insert a little clip here of that old review. Why there's like this blanket type of thing on the inside of it. What we're getting into is some specs, up close looks, and really some movement with this sword. Let's take a look. All right. Quick specs on this one, 40 and 5 eighths inches of overall length, 33 and a half inch blade. There's a second version from an old review I did quite a few years ago, probably like five, six years ago, where this is a double edge blade. This one, the back sword is a single edge blade. So later on in time from the research you can see on the Cult of Athena website about this blade is the double edge version started to get less popular, not completely extinct, but less popular. And then these started to get more popular. I will say some features on this that are really cool is the antiqued finish that you're gonna see more up close looks in that. And what that's gonna do is actually kind of double up on keeping this cleaner and easier to clean rather than it being like a mere polish. And then if somebody touches the blade, which people tend to do if you have a sword collection, they like to touch the blade, is it's easier to clean and keep it maintenance as well. Another thing I really like about it as well is that it's a single edge blade. So if you did wanna rest this into these higher guard positions, in closed positions, you don't have an edge going toward you. I will say as well, there's a false edge at the very end of the blade. So from this section to the tip, that is a false edge where it's not sharp. You could probably get it sharpened. You'd have to ask customer service at Cult of Athena. You could probably get it sharpened, but you've got plenty if you did want to go into any type of whipping strikes and using that as a little bit of a rip, that'd be pretty sweet for the times that this is being used. Another really unique feature that you see across categories of different blade cultures is the protection for the hand. Now this is a basket hilt, so you can literally can't even see my hand in there. It's a really awesome design because if the hand is in any extended position, any extended position at all, the hand itself is really protected. Another thing that you're not gonna know unless you're holding this one is that your grip can be relatively relaxed in the basket and you can still hold the thrust out. So I'm in a palm up position right now and my grip is really relaxed right now. So if I did want to present that as a threat in a training sense or if I'm training forms on the thrust, I have that ability to keep my grip relaxed. My hand is protected for the most part and it's overall very comfortable. Speaking about that on the handle, which is something that's really key with any sword, you could have a great blade itself, but if the handle's crappy, then that's not gonna work. This is genuine ray skin. We're gonna pinch the basket so we can get past the tassels. This is all genuine ray skin here. And I'll get some more up close looks at this as well. And it's braided, but it's genuine ray skin. It's not full ray skin. What does that mean for someone who's never held one before for genuine ray skin? Is it feels like sandpaper that works with your hand. So if you're training forms with this, or even if you're just holding this in hand, it's enough grip of the organic material where it's very solid feeling. Meaning that if you're making an adjustment between different thrust positions into cuts, your hand is not moving the finger pads and especially the, you know, closer in toward the palm, there's less adjustments that need to be made, which over time fatigues the hand less. This thing's weighing in at three pounds, I believe five or six ounces, but because of the point of balance, it doesn't feel like that. So the basket hilt, not overbearing. When you throw a cut, whether this is a larger type of cut, whether this is even like around the head into different cuts, I know people get mad at me when I use larger shoulder slashes as if that doesn't happen in all blade cultures. You're gonna see that, and you're gonna feel that even this being three pounds, for the way it's distributed and the way the point of balance is, it's a really great blade. Another great feature on this back sword is the scabbard. It's a wood cord leather wrapped scabbard. We have exposed stitches on the back. We have a little hook, just for the sake of the term. That way, if you wanted to attach this to a sword belt, it's very easy to do that. We also have sword hangers available at coldofthean.com in the leather goods section. And just so you can see it, it matches. So the fabric on the basket hilt, underneath the basket hilt itself, matches, slides really well into the scabbard. And I didn't mention this before, so I'm gonna mention it now. 
there's a piece of leather on the top which because this is steel which is really smart because that way you don't have to worry about corrosion in the actual scabbard and getting any type of material in there and just that leather piece was a nice aesthetic and also functional idea from Hanway. All right, taking a look at the handle, you can see the genuine ray skin and moving the tassels out of the way. The genuine ray skin is more of like a light brown and it's braided with a little bit of cord around it. Again, the ray skin's not so abrasive that it's really gonna mess with your hand. You can see the material around the basket as well, so that way your hand is not in contact with the steel. Let's get a better look at the basket itself. We can see Hanway did a really great job on this one. The tassels are going to move around like that. That's really normal. They don't get in the way of your grip when you are striking with or moving through guards with this back sword. I just pointed to the two notches that are on there in order to kind of catch blades and really redirect them away from you. Here's a scabbard. It's a wood cord leather bound scabbard that matches the material on the basket hilt. Steel tip and the stitches on the back of the scabbard. Alright, so here's the blade in hand. I'm just trying to get a couple different angles here. You can see the antique finish. It's a completely straight blade. Great point of balance. The Genuine Ray Skin is really comfortable in hand too, so as I'm even moving through, you know, showing you how this sword moves, not having any problems with keeping it in hand, it's not overbearing as far as weight. That was the false edge, and then back into the basket itself. Just some alternate angles for you to see what it looks like, as close as you can see what it looks like to it being in your own hand. Let's take a look at a little bit of footage of some movement through cut, thrust, and guards with the Hanway Scottish Basket Hilt Backsword. Okay, thanks for joining me for this review of the Hanway Scottish Basket Hill Backsword with the antique finish. I find it's a really great way to keep corrosion off blades. If you do need sword maintenance kits, we also have them at cultofathena.com. The Flitz Knife and Gun Care Kit is a great option. It's what I use for my sword collection personally. If you like swords like this, comment below. And let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends who are fellow sword enthusiasts, and I'll see you in the next video.